Any, are there any other um, questions or comments on the overall, this kind of overall, um, oh, by the way, in this term that we use, that we use this term called justice reinvestment. We're fighting for a package of, of sentencing reforms that takes a smarter approach to, uh, to our criminal sentencing that would save hundreds of millions of dollars that we would reinvest into things like uh, education, conversion program, community-based addiction treatments. Um, so we, you know, so uh, it's, the, it's the reinvestment part that's pretty key. Um, so if the around how young people can talk, talk about measure 11, people are all right with that? Why did you write a paper? Um, <laughs> this was a landmark report, report um, and we did a level of research that has not been done around what Measure 11 and how, how young people are being impacted by it. Um, and that counties that convict more young people in a slight spread, we think that there would be a direct connection between the number of youth who are actually getting their slow and convictions and indictments and actually targets, criminal crimes. But we're not seeing it. We do not have the benefit of an impartial judge evaluating their case. Instead, prosecutors make the final decision on 92% of these cases. Well, let me tell you why that's the case. So, the, so um, so I'm doing research from the Working Criminal Justice Commission. So, essentially, when mental fundamentally changed the power dynamics in our criminal justice system, they took power from the judges, they put them in the hands of prosecutors. Because it's a prosecute. It's a prosecutorial decision. So what that means is, um, Measure 11, they're mandatory minimum sentences and they're long sentences. So did something wrong and you should be held accountable, but is it, is it really uh, worthy of a Measure 11 kind of uh, sentence? And, and so what ends up, what, so we, what we see is that first of all, that, um, and this is for passed and implemented, the number of plea bargains went through the roof in this, in this state, right? And so really what that means is this, the, to basically how a prosecutor decides to charge the case. And you know, and when, when we're talking about actually we would benefit from at least having an impartial, neutral, trained professional like a judge evaluate something to warrant putting them in an adult court, they actually have to have what we call a waiver and then bring it to court and essentially convince the judge that this young person deserved to. That's history. At this point, it's really just about how a uh, uh, prosecutor decides to charge. So, all right, so judges are not involved.